Hey there, how's it going? What's up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today, I wanted to bring you a quick video talking about a little bit of the shakeup in the market and exactly what has been going on kind of with these Ultimate Legends coming out. I'm actually in an Ultimate Legends game right now, so excited to bring you a little bit of gameplay while talking through um, some of the things that have been happening throughout this weekend. Um, the main thing that has happened is the market has absolutely tanked. It is really fun to see some players that you can have on your team until the end of the year, kind of already out into the market. Um, but getting back to um, what the market is like, you can go out and get a 97 punter, kicker, defensive end, left tackle, middle linebacker, just that you can have on your team until the end of the year and really not have to worry about that position anymore for under 400,000 coins. That is just absolutely insane. Um, also, a uh, left guard as well. Don't want to forget about McDaniel. He's just the only one that has not been at my team quite yet. Romanowski um, was probably the dis most disappointing one that I've had on my team so far. And the other two major ones that came out were Sean Taylor and also Calvin Johnson. Talked about them more exclusively and what their stats looked like. Um, in a video that came out yesterday so make sure you go check out that um, but really talking through some of the things that have changed training is just so low right now it is crazy um, with some of the players that are going to be coming out that got honors cards that you can power up with training i'm really kind of surprised i just don't know if um, the market has adjusted to that or if people just aren't looking that far forward that they might want to get those cards and can be selling for a little bit more than that. Um, I think if you're going to want to hold maybe till midweek next week, some of these players that are going for 400,000 cards, coins, excuse me, that are, are going to be going for a little bit more. And that's kind of what I banked on um, and spent most of my coins on some of those players. But really with the way the market has continued to go, it hasn't even ticked up at all it's just continued to go down the lower cards that were keeping up the training market have just continued to go down so the cards that you can trade in to upgrade your team are now players that are just pretty much fodder and players that you just want to get out of your binder it's crazy um especially if you have been playing since the beginning of the year. If you're playing just starting up now, I know those are the best players on your team. And I do apologize for making such a broad statement, but it's crazy that some of these players that were so good and going for hundreds of thousands of coins early in the year are just trash right now. On My Way is a great chemistry. It's able to knock people to the ground, especially if a lot of them interact with that. And you have quite a few of those players set up with that. But sometimes it's a little bit slow. As you can see right there, I had Ray Lewis in the hole and we were just not able to finish. That's not usually what happens and it's sometimes better to just let him play by himself because he can just do some crazy things with his play rec and abilities that he does have on my team now. Having him as your captain is probably your best option. Just throwing that out there as well. Um, but with Mahomes and Aaron Donald being close to, if not the best position, Miles Garrett is pretty close to... I would probably say is better than Aaron Donald. I'm going to have Miles Garrett on my team until the end of the year, and I'm probably not going to consider Donald all that much. Um, Garrett's actually really stood out, and he can do everything that I want him to. Donald's a little bit shorter. He's got the strength. He's got some other crazy things, but just not necessarily the player on my team. I know a lot of people want him. I know how good he actually is in the NFL. Just doesn't necessarily ring true with his card now. If he was a defensive tackle... Things would be a little bit different because he'd probably be the best one in butt right now. Mahomes um, put out a top 10 that will be coming out on Sunday. Actually, this probably will be coming out Sunday as well. Um, so go out and check out where I think Mahomes is with the quarterbacks. A couple of the things that led into the market crashing as much as it did, just an influx of Super Bowl rings getting 
tossed into training so people not necessarily needing training if they had too many Super Bowl rings left over oh stay in bounds baby perfect um, do want to get this game over with as quickly as possible a couple things to note is make sure when the offense is on the field their um, clock is running down to 12 seconds um, if they run the ball in the first or third quarter and most of the second and fourth just something to help you out and get the game over a little bit quicker chew the clock get the game over quick run the ball a couple times throw the ball to your favorite receiver once or twice as well and then some of these solos can be over for you um, this is another huge boost to the people that don't want to spend money on the game get into these solos for these ultimate legends get their power ups and just power up those players to a certain point um, Calvin Johnson and Romanowski actually didn't have a previous card that you needed for this uh, the people who had invested in the 94 Calvin Johnson's Kind of got the short end of the stick. It was kind of a poor deal. They were not able to really get in and get what they needed for that, which is kind of a bummer, to be honest. It is really unfortunate that you are not able to um, use those cards because, I mean, you're still F. I mean, it wasn't a limited card, so you would have had to pay for it. You wouldn't have had to be able to use training. So those investors would have been able to make a huge amount, but everyone who did invest it would have lost out huge, like myself, to be perfectly honest, because I would have not purchased that card. And the rest of the coins that I have, even though it's a small amount, probably would have been gone. Um, so just something that benefits some people, but just not people who were kind of forward thinking. So that's not necessarily the best deal. But some of the investments that I did make with the Super Bowl promo really did pay off. I was able to get just over 9 million coins. Um, I hit my peak right before I started buying some of these Ultimate Legends yesterday. So I need to go and check exactly what that was. Um, yeah, up to 97 overall now, making some adjustments. Ed Reed is just not playing the way that it, I think that he should. He has great stats on the back of the card. Um, but with that, you got to make sure that you're paying attention um, and making sure the computer's paying attention because you might be able to just run right past it in some of those situations. Um, but yeah, you get to play through for... Um, ooh, great hit stick by LT right there. Able to get the ball back real quick. You got to play through um, these solos um, and you get some power-ups. Um, for the first two, it's Calvin Johnson and Sean Taylor. And then when you finish that, you're able to go out and get a piece um, for those cards that you're able to put together and then maybe get their top card, which would be the 98 overalls for them and 97s for the rest of the Ultimate Legends at this point. Uh, Mutt Grew had hinted at some cards coming out in the near future and earlier than what we had expected, so that's exciting to kind of look for. Um, had noted that I played with all of these cards except for McDaniel. I've quit Nelson, so oops. That is one issue with uh, chewing the clock. Can't make a lot of adjustments, um, but just something to always consider as well. Um, just want to get up and run the ball or run what you have with one or two hot routes if you have conductor. Otherwise, it's probably stick to one. Something outside of the promo that I'm excited about. Was able to finish up weekend league and solo battles already. So excited to be able to pull some things and maybe just use a couple other things. Ooh, should have spun the other way, my bad. Um, should it, can use those things for coins, so going to be pulling out a lot of that. Um, finished above 500 in Weekend League um, after finishing all the games. Definitely got harder as the weekend went on, which kind of makes sense. Um, should have finished probably a couple more games than what I did, but had a good time. So that's all that really matters. Um, but up 14, probably going to get in some other stuff in the second half. Um, I wish you all the best and I hope you're able to make some coins through this promo also. Take care. Thanks for checking into the Irish Rantane channel. Keep coming back to keep getting better at Madden and growing your Mutt team. There will be at least five videos up a week so make sure to subscribe 
and also hit the bell right next to it to make sure you see them all. Come by Twitch to engage or hit me up on Twitter at Irish Orientane. Take care, everybody.